Hello guys, how's it going? Alex Grampion here. This is a quick video for you today on the Audi Q3 2 liter TDI on how to replace your engine oil. So this is a part of my full service videos that I'm doing, but this is just a quick one in case you literally just want to replace the engine oil and the oil filter. Uh, so today uh, I got the part from Bosch. I also use the MAN filters. I'm going to put the link in the description below for you for the part and also for the oil that you need to use. But you do need to know if your car has got a DPF or it hasn't. Uh, but yeah, you can use your reg number for that and you get all the specs anyway. But yeah, I'm going to show you today how to replace it and uh, bear in mind using your reg, um, the same for the oil filter as well. Make sure because there's a couple of different types of them. Uh, so you need to make sure you've got the right one when you're doing this job. So yeah, if there's something you're interested in, please tune in and let's get going. So I usually replace my engine oil every 10,000 miles or every year, depending on what comes first. And obviously change the oil filter as well. Um, so you're going to need around four and a half to five liters of oil and for that I'm going to show you what oil you need and obviously give you the link in the description below. So to do this we're going to need to, I usually run the car up to almost normal operating temperature because it makes it easier to drain the oil but you have to be careful because the engine will be hot but like I said it does help having the engine warm to get rid of the most old oil that you got in the system there. So the cover just pops off, there's rubber clips holding it on on four ends of it so one two three four you can put a bit of double ad 40 uh, on it when you put it back on there so once the cover is off uh, the oil filter is located down there i'm going to show you now so once the cover is off um, there's a sensor in the way but the oil filter is in there you can see the big 32 mil obviously cover on there that you have to undo uh, but we will get rid of the sensor that's in the way here. You can take it off, take the whole bracket off to make it easier to get the uh, oil filter out of there. So I'm going to take the whole thing off and you'll see they're going to make your life a lot easier. So to remove the bracket you're going to need Torque 30. And again I'm using the tools from my Draper kit. As you can see just get that screw off of there. And the whole bracket will come off and this is just enough space for you to get the oil filter out of there so what you're going to need is the extension now um, i got the flexi there as well because it helps so like i said this is from that draper kit and you got the 32 mil socket here just get it on the end there and put it on top of the oil housing there of the filter and that will be tight Depends if someone done the torque setting or not, I just went super tight on it. So just undo it. Oh, that's not too bad actually. Uh, now what I do is obviously, the engine has to be off when you're doing this, obvious. Um, undo it uh, probably, I don't know, six, seven turns, uh, because what that will do is it will let the oil come out of the oil housing there um, into the engine. So when you're draining the engine, it will get rid of all the oil in here and when you actually get the oil filter out of there uh, it's not going to make too much mess because most of the oil is going to go inside the engine uh, and I'll show you that in a bit so I'm going to undo it here it goes Liz and then like I said the oil will start making its way down that's pretty loose now yeah that's better you can take the oil cap off at this stage as well Now out of the vehicle, uh, like I say, if you're doing this using the jack stands, please be careful, use the correct jacking points. I'm going to show you them now in a second and make sure you lift the car up enough and there's one on each side and the handbrake is on as well because you will have to remove this horrible big cover. Um, so there's Phillips screws all around here, so one, two, three. Uh, there's three missing here on the front for some reason. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And like I said, another three here, so it's nine, 10, 11. And then you've got another three in the middle and they are Torx, I'm pretty sure they are Torx 45, sorry, not 35, they are Torx 45 that you need for them. And usually they are really tight because people don't put grease on them and it just gets corroded in there. So undo them first. I'm 
I should be able to pull off of there. And that's it. This is the jacking points I'm on about. Um, you usually got a mark with a triangle there showing you the strongest point and where you should jack it up. So one should be there and the other one on this side, as you can see there. And that is the correct and safe uh, way of jacking it up. So this is your 19mm um, bolt that you got going in there. Obviously the drain plug, call it wherever you want. Uh, but you got the washer there as well. So make sure once you obviously I'm done and drain it, uh, the dealer does recommend using the new one with the new washer to save you from having any oil leaks from there. And obviously you have to talk it up as well and the talk settings will be in the description below. So we're just gonna undo it and drain all the oil out of the car. So like I said, you need 19 mil socket. Undo it. Make sure you've got something to catch all the oil and it holds at least probably six or seven liters. So I've got the proper oil drainer, but obviously if you're doing it on the floor, make sure you've got a nice big oil drainer. And I'm gonna put the link in the description below for one, which will help you a lot and will avoid making a mess. So just gonna get that under there. So it takes around five minutes to drain it. You will still have a little bit always coming out of there unless you leave it like 24 hours because like I said, there's a lot of oil in there. But when it's warmer, it is a lot quicker to drain it. So obviously wipe that off. If you got any dirt there where the washer's gonna go and put a new sun plug on there. Like I said, the torque setting for this is going to be in the description below. Now personally, once I've done it, I don't put the cover back on. I do put the oil in first, run the car for about 5 or 10 minutes and then check if there's any oil leaks around here or the oil housing. But it's up to you obviously, if you're confident enough, you can put the cover back on at this stage. So now that we drain the oil, we can get the oil filter out of there. There we are. So if you look here, uh, you have got the oil rings that you're gonna have in your new, obviously, box with the new oil filter. You got one there, one there, and another one down here. And you do need to replace all three of them to make sure that the car is obviously working properly. So all we do now is obviously slide the oil filter off of there that's part of the housing so just pop it off of there and fit the new one in make sure you notice how it's sitting on there uh, because the top and bottom is different so the big one make sure it goes in the correct place hope the focus is focusing correctly on all this stuff so get it on there make sure it's nice and even when in place that's good and the same with the top ones now Just in case um, you chucked your oil filter and didn't realize which way it goes on, uh, the bigger hole goes on first, then it clips on and stays on there. That's good. And like I said, now we've only got the seals to put on, the bigger seals goes on first. There we are. And then the top one that you drop goes on top there. There you go. That's on there. Like I said, make sure it's all on all around there. And the same with the main seal there at the bottom. And now we're ready to put it back in the housing. That's it out of the way. Do a little wiggle. Get the adapter on and the torque setting actually says on the top of the cover there 25 newton meters for this one and I'm pretty sure the torque setting for your uh, sand plug is 30 newton meters that is 30 three zero I do apologize for the accent so I'm gonna do it up and like I said I do advise using the torque wrench to torque this up to make sure they got no leaks yeah that was click click 
felt like 30 newton meters to me. Once you've done it up, don't forget you have to put the sensor back on there. It's done. And you will need to have a look down there after you're running the car to make sure there's no oil leaks. So at this stage, like I said, you can put around four and a half liters of oil in there and double check the dipstick that it's on the level, run the car and then double check again because you obviously will take a little bit of oil out of there uh, to fill up the oil housing. So you might have to top it up again. So I'm gonna start with four liters of oil And the reason I'm not showing you what oil it is, is because you will have to double check to make sure that you have got the correct spec oil for your engine, because they do have some different engines. If you've got a blue motion technology and etc. if you've got DPF or if you haven't got DPF, but generally it is 530. And I will put the link in the description below anyway for the oil that I've used. If that's what you want to do, my vehicle has got a DPF. And like I said, I'm using 4.5 liters of oil. So at this stage, obviously, don't forget to put the oil cap back on. And as long as everything's done up, you're ready to start up your vehicle now and run it for 10 seconds and double check the oil level. Once you've done the oil change or you obviously done the service, uh, to reset the service light or service warning on your Audi Q3 is quite easy. So this is, like I said, 2014 model. Uh, so what you have to do, you've got a display there and you've got the controls down there. Uh, so what you do is you go into the menu, as you can see there. And if you choose the car, uh, you've got the service intervals there and tire pressure as well. So we're going to click again. So what you're doing is just pressing that in the middle. And you've got the, obviously, warning there, next oil change. Obviously, I've done my one now. So you just go down press the button and go on to yes once you press yes your change interval has been reset and as you can see you got the new parameters there and obviously the next thing you will do is the warning as well which is the next service uh, in case you want to change the dates in case you want to change it for a year only uh, and not two years uh, you can use the diagnostic tool I got a couple that I can show you uh, you have to change it to the flexible interval and change the days to one year. But that is how you reset your service light on here. So that's it, I had the car running for about five minutes and obviously check the oil, oil is on the levels, that's spot on on the max. Uh, there's no oil leaks around the oil housing, so that's good, the cap is on. All I got left is to put the cover on and obviously don't forget to check the sump plug, to make sure it's not leaking. And that is it guys, like I said, the oil it took four and a half liters everything is in the description below all the links and everything else is there so all the helpful info is there and the talk settings as well i hope you enjoyed this quick video on your oil change and if you did give us a subscribe give us a like and comment below see you soon bye